What up guys, welcome back to the Revit and Jeep channel. As you guys can see right here, we finally have the Overland Trailer Stage 2. Like I promised you guys, we're gonna have a lot of good upgrades on the trailer. And finally here it is. And F is throwing it up to this spot, this location. And I think it's a good way to start the video by doing a quick walk around of what I've done, the up two upgrades that I see. Plenty of upgrades you guys can probably see, but I'm gonna walk you through. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'm willing to help you guys out. Check out the trailer. We're in this beautiful area, you guys can see. Nothing but fog, but it's just a beautiful spot. All right, back to the trailer. So, right off the bat, you guys remember from the previous video, if you guys haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. Um, we upgraded the tires, we did a axle flip to lift it up and be able to install these bigger tires, 31 inch mud terrains on a 15 inch wheel. So, right off the bat, you guys recall I didn't have the whole setup for the uh, tent the rooftop tent so what I did I looked up and it's pretty common upgrade compact camping concepts they provide this the new no weld trailer rack you guys can see I think I might do a separate installation video if you're interested step by step how I install it. Actually, no really good videos about how to install it. So I'm gonna show this, but shout out to them. They were able to take a few measurements for my trailer. And it's a nice setup. You guys can see it there. So the no tra the no well trailer rack, all bolt-on, you guys can see right there. Zoom in. And my video goes into details, but just to show you real quick. Just a couple areas where it gets bolted on to your trailer. And of course, all four corners. Easy setup. The only upgrade I had for lighting on this trailer was the Harbor Freight replacement taillights. These LED ones, they're very bright, but I want to make my trailer visible on the trail and on the highway or wherever roads I'm taking. So I upgraded the lights. Let's check it out. It's daylight, so you won't be able to see it as good but I'll show you in, in, at night how it looks but you guys can see I got these longer tail lights right here and I bolted it on both sides of the trailer so now I pretty much have four tail lights in the back so when I break this is gonna pop out so you're gonna definitely see this when I'm heading down the road now I also wanted to light up the side of the trailer and I only had the original little amber lights right here but they were halogen bulbs so I wanted to upgrade to LEDs so I upgraded to these much brighter so on each side it's a lot more visible I also went to Harbor Freight I got these they're not as bright but they do the job so might be overkill but whatever I want to make sure my trailer is visible and up top for the bigger vehicles that might be driving down the road. I added some amber lights as well. You guys can tell right there. These little circular ones that I had to drill into the trailer rack right here. Pretty easy. I got one at each of the posts there or columns, whatever you want to call them. And oh man, they're, they're very bright. So for the rooftop tent, I got the TMBK3 tent from Amazon. So I want to sh shout out the sponsor for this one, my sister. <laughs> she actually believed in this project and she's like, you know what? I'm going to sponsor your channel. I appreciate that. And we got the rooftop tent. So, <laughs> All right, y'all ready to check out the trailer with the rooftop tent extended? Let's check it out. Boom, check that out. So I believe I might just do a separate video of the installation I did it myself. Believe it or not, I was able to raise it up to the height. And, but I prefer for you guys to get some help. But check that out. Obviously I still have to do a couple more upgrades just so I can level up the tent in case I'm in an area that's not leveled this specific area it's not too bad but 
we can always improve and adjust for comfort level. So there we got the telescoping ladder. Man, this looks awesome. Yep, it's a nice setup. Check it out underneath so you guys can take a full on view. It's pretty lightweight, it's about 100 pounds, so not too bad. And of course, I can always throw my luggage in there, but I'm at a point that this trailer is somewhat complete to the level that I want to. There's always better upgrades I can do to it, but for now, I think I'm good. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick walk around of stage two of the Overland trailer. It's amazing, I love it. Can't wait to take it out to explore. Now I might let my friends or someone rent it, I don't know. <laughs> I won't take all the fun myself. I'll let someone else enjoy it at a cost, <laughs> friendly cost. So comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. All I ask for you is to hit the thumbs up, support the channel, subscribe, and we're gonna be dropping these videos. I got a lot more, more upgrades for El Jefe. It's running sluggish, so I gotta address it quickly. So I can't let Monstar have all the fun and let Hefe just be stored in the garage. So, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.